Hey guys, what's up? So, I thought I'd show you my 32-bit uh, upgrade on my old printer bot here. Um, I actually have an extra board left over from my uh, other project here. And uh, this is the FKR 1.1 board. And I have some Trinamic 2208 drivers. But I want to find a way to get in this machine right here. And I've already been printing out some stuff already. Uh, because I need to bring it up, the legs up. Flip this over real fast so you can see what right. But yeah, I love this printer. Wait a second. It's an awesome printer, the quality is great, but the printer board, my, my USB uh, connection is getting kind of bad on this board, and the printer bot went out of business. And Plus, this is actually uh, an Atmel chip, and it basically has no room for uh, any storage. Like right now, I have my Marlin 1.1.9 on there, and there's not even enough even storage to even run the LCD. And that's actually one of the things I want to do is I want to put a I'm going to move this LCD from this printer because I'm ordering a new one, TFT35. I'll take this one. I'm going to move over here. But I need to uh, find a way to get this board in here like that. So I will be doing lots of upgrades to this thing. So. All right, so my friend had originally built this printer, and uh, that's actually what he labeled this with the green tape. Uh, assuming E is the extruder, but I'll figure out, verify on the motherboard. I'm going to change the connector types. It's interesting they use the wrong type, wrong type of connector for that thing. You know, like that's not the right type of connector right there for that thing. So. Make sure I verify the orientation as well. Get all these off, make sure they're labeled, and uh, get this thing out of the old board out. It's a tiny little board, you know? Alright, all right, there's a better look at the board right there. So there is an SD card slot right there, but that's going to be in a different spot. But, uh, so it looks like a couple M3 screws here. Get this off here. Alright. All right. So here's two boards lined. This is the printer bot, printer board obviously. Holes lined up here, but the printer, uh, the USBs are almost in the exact same uh, position. So I won't have to cut a lot of material out of this hole here to get access to the uh, thing there, but I am actually gonna have to cut a hole over here to for access to the uh, SD card slot in case I wanna do uh, firmware updates. Um, I guess it's not necessary. I can always do it through the USB if I wanna do, but I prefer to do it through the uh, SD card. It does fit in there, so this would also work with a Gen L too as well, MKS Gen L. But uh, 30 bit, 32 bits, a uh, wave of the future there. So, all right. All right, so I'm gonna use a Dremel tool here to cut out this uh, hole bigger for this. Uh, I need to make a spot for the SD card and the uh, USB. Uh, Table right there. Sorry, right. look at that gun. All right, there's the hole right there. Uh, I use a little sharpie to cover up the exposed metal. But uh, you can see. So, uh, so the cool thing is I can use one of this one corner hole right there. I'm gonna be able to reuse. Grab the heat sinks. Just trying to put this in a way we can see it. And then now I have access to my SD card and my uh, USB slot right there. So. Alright. Yeah, I can't stand micro USB. <laughs> it's so weak, you know, you barely touch the cable and the things break. So alright, now I actually I printed out a uh, like an adapter piece right here that I'm gonna find a way to adapt in there. Like that. And I also need to get some standoffs too to I need to come up with a solution for the uh, cooling. So there's a couple different things you can do. You can this brought this won't fit. Originally I thought I was gonna do this, but this wouldn't fit in there. You know, to put a fan right there. But then, um, I think I already showed you the other one. This one right here. The one with the dual. I guess I'd prefer to only have one fan going than versus dual. I don't think it needs two fans. So, there is actually another one I downloaded that has some blower fans. But I'll need to get some standoffs like this to, to make it work. But, uh, these are too small. 
also like a standoff would bring this up and that would attach to something like that you know but I need to get bigger standoffs so okay cool um gotta modify this now I should be able to get it in three different spots I'm gonna use the single hole there that one reuse that hole and then kind of screwed on the other thing. I'm going to have it attached in three different spots because I can't get four, but I'll show you that. Alright guys, take a look. It's in, the board's in, and i got to figure out these uh, stepper wires. And they are different than the other ones. Like your typical ones coming out of China now. They're definitely a lot bigger. Um, so I don't know if they're higher quality or what, but uh, this is an American made printer, originally, printer bot. So, I gotta check out the stepper wires. I gotta re-terminate these wires to make a match my current connectors. These ones I don't have to, I, I could just stick them in there, but a lot of these other ones, like the uh, end stops and stuff. But uh, my electronic store is closed on Sunday, so this will be the end of this video for this weekend, and then I'll come back during the week or next weekend and uh, finish this up, because I also need to get standoffs and stuff to, I gotta figure out a cooling duct system for these trinamic drivers right there. But uh, all right, cool, fun project. All right.